Meteorologist Angela Huddy is here, and you've got what's buzzing around <laughs> St. Louis tonight, right? And, you know, there's a lot of them buzzing around, wow. especially if you have those violets popping in your yards. You know, bees and butterflies and other local pollinators are under threat. Uh, they're losing habitat. They're infected by disease. So the Missouri Department of Conservation is hoping that this summer you'll befriend local pollinators. Missouri is home to 450 species of native bees, including bumblebees, carpenter bees, and sweat bees. Many fear being stung, but urban wildlife biologist Aaron Shank says most native bees are harmless. Most of them are ground nesting solitary bees, so they don't behave like the honeybee, which is the bee that most people are familiar with, which is not a native bee. Bees do the crucial work of pollinating flowering plants, providing one in every three bites of food we eat. We wouldn't have things like strawberries and almonds and blueberries and apples and um, peaches, and, uh, 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 cucumbers, tomatoes, you know, um, all the really more flavorful and nutritious items that, um, that we enjoy on our plates are thanks to pollinators. Sometimes pollinators, like the honeybee, swarm or hive in unsafe places and need to be removed. We've seen them on cars before. Uh, we see them in barbecue pits, a number of different areas. Jay Everett with Rottler Pest Solutions says professionals can eliminate the threat, but also preserve the bees. We've got some specialty beekeepers that can actually do a trap out on those, and they literally will, you know, slowly transfer those bees over to a hive. Um, and then relocate them to a, a place that's a little safer for them and humans. You can support pollinators by incorporating native plants with colorful blossoms in your landscaping. Flowering trees like red buds and American plums are great too. Over the past year, as many of us have um, found our only safe recreation to be outdoors, we have a new appreciation for those outdoor spaces, which are largely thanks to pollinators. And no yard, no problem. Shank reminds urban dwellers that you can plant native flowers into the pots and planters that you have on your patio, or you can take part in a community garden to also help those bees out. Speaking of bees, a special buzzing delivery arrived on Sandy Miller's front porch a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> you Andy, saw you that, did you? delivered through yeah. the mail. Yeah, I did. I put, well, they actually, you can order them in the mail. And so we've been beekeepers for a long, long time. We got a new batch this spring, and they just come in a box. And I joked around. I posted it and set up. My delivery person is probably not going to be speaking to me for a while. <laughs> this says live You do the checklist on your route. You're like, exactly. wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? Honeybees are endangered, and it's so, so, so important that if you do have a swarm that you don't want where they are, there's safe ways and beekeepers all over our area that will come in and just relocate them. But, you know, I, I think it was Albert Einstein that actually said once the honeybees are gone, we're not too far behind, so we definitely want to protect them. Absolutely. That's what Roller said. They're happy to be saving the bees. Yeah, absolutely. Great story. Angela, thank you.